The Pauli exclusion principle states that no two electrons can possess the same four quantum numbers. And that's why we have four quantum numbers, the principal being the energy level, the secondary is the sublevel, the tertiary quantum number is the orbital, and the quaternary or the fourth quantum number is the spin. Every single electron would have separate quantum numbers and we'll do that together in a minute. The ground state is when the electrons exist in their lowest energy states possible, and this represents the most stable energy state of the atom. Now we have something called Hund's rule, which states that within any sublevel, all the orbitals, which is quantum number three or m, of that sublevel must contain one electron before any orbital can be filled. And we know, we've already said that each orbital can contain up to two electrons. So let's take a look at that on the board. We're going to look at the neon atom, which has a, a nuclear symbol of 10 and 20, atomic number of 10, atomic mass of 20, so it has 10 protons. Since it's neutral, it would also have 10 electrons and 10 neutrons. If we are going to draw the electron configuration, which means we're going to draw out all four quantum numbers, it would look like this. We know we have 10 electrons to work with, so we always start with the lowest energy, which is energy level 1. We know that energy level 1 only has one sublevel, S. S only has one orbital, so I can draw it like this. And then every orbital can contain up to two electrons, up and down. Now you can see the Pauli exclusion principle coming in. No two electrons can have the same two numbers. That's why we designate them with an opposite spin. First of all, they repel each other, but second of all, this tells us that that electron is actually different than the first one. There's two there instead of one. And we can indicate the one right, or uh, two right there. Okay? We have eight more electrons to go. So energy level one is full, so we take a step up to the next energy level, which would be two. Energy level two has two sublevels, S, and we know it also has P. So we could, S has one orbital. 2p has up to three orbitals, okay? So we have quantum number one here, the two and the one. We have the sublevels, which is quantum two, the s and the p's. And then we have the orbitals, that's the third quantum number, which is the lines designated by the lines. Again, we could use circles if we wanted to instead. That the fourth quantum number, number is the spin. Since we're at 2s, it only has one orbital, it can take two electrons again, one, Two. Okay. Now, we still have six electrons left. We go to the next available energy level, which is actually 2p. Okay, the 2p sublevel of energy level two has up to three orbitals. We have six electrons to work with. So again, we start with one electron here. Every electron on this plane will have the same energy, so they're going to want to repel each other. It's just like stepping up. Like Again, if we draw 1s here, 2s here, and then 2p here. You can see how they're on different levels. And this electron with the next one is going to want to push it as far away as possible. But just to be simple, we're going to put it in the next one. This is also called Hund's rule. You can't put two electrons in the same sublevel orbital until there's one in each. I use the example of uh, a mom having triplets, and you have three hamburgers for triplets. You're not going to give two hamburgers to one of the triplets and then leave one without. You give each one a hamburger before they get a second. So again, uh, we have one, two, three, four electrons here. We have the fifth one, the sixth one, and the seventh one. Okay. Then we can double them up. And it doesn't matter which one you double, I'm just trying to be organized in an order. See? And then this. It would look like that. That's 10. So each of these can be 2, 2, and 2. And so now you see the electron configuration for the neon atom. It showed the Pauli exclusion principle, which means that every single electron has its own four quantum numbers. That's why the, even to the spin is different. It also showed Hund's rule. Let me show you again on the overhead. Okay, here again we see Hund's rule. 
and there's the neon atom. Notice the order of the electrons. The first two went in the 1s sublevel and energy level. Then we go to energy level 2, which we begin with the s sublevel. Electrons 3 and 4 can go in there. But once we get to the p sublevel of energy level 2, there are three possible orbitals. Notice the order 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in that order. So if you take away these three, you'd have the nitrogen atom. Add another one, you have oxygen atom. Add another, you'd have fluorine atom. And then you have here the uh, neon atom. This is called the electron configuration or electron orientation. 